Do you think, was there a moment when you read that and you had to, you know, kind of take a look at yourself and be like, maybe I am not the best teammate? Because there's always this really interesting line to me when you're watching, you know, athletes at their highest level. Yeah. A guy who is a clear alpha leader, he runs the team. There's that line of, is he from, like, his ego is out of control to he just wants the most out of people. Right. You know, like, Michael Jordan punched Steve Kerr in the face. Like, you know, there's stories of right. you pushing your teammates <laughs> and, 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 you know, maybe getting some of them kind of crumble in the moment. Yeah. Do you, did you see that and, and kind of reflect and say, hey, maybe I need to do a different do this differently? Well, I, I think uh, there's a couple answers to that. So, um, uh, drive a hard bargain. The people that I've always had issues or problems with are the people that don't demand excellence from themselves. I won't tolerate that. Because that when the career is said and done, they're not going to be looking at you, a player on his team, and saying, you didn't win a championship. No, they're going to be looking here, right? So it's my responsibility to make sure everybody's holding themselves accountable. I'm holding you accountable. If we just played a back-to-back -back and we have practice the next day, your ass better be there tape ready to go, mm -hmm. right? Because I'm there and I'm ready. And I just got finished lifting weights for two hours, right? So I hold guys to a higher standard. And uh, I don't sugarcoat stuff. Never have, never will, right? And that tends to rub some people the wrong way.